Hi, I'm Carolyn from O2Bstamping.com. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome, and if you already follow me, welcome back. Today I want to share this card with you, this Christmas card, uh, using the woodland embossing folder. And I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I've never tried this technique before, so I learned something so that I could come and share it with you. So let me show you how I made this card. Okay, now I'm going to use the Woodland Textured Embossing Folder. Hopefully you can see the trees on that. And I'm going to use the Sizzix side, where it says Sizzix right here, face down on my worksheet. And so it's, it's actually upside down. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use Lost Lagoon Ink. And my sponge and I'm just going to ink up the bottom section of my folder. Now you can use a brayer for this as well if you'd like. I just find using two colors I just I liked doing it with the sponge. Okay, I think that's good. You don't have to worry too much about this section down here because your uh, sentiment is going to go at the bottom. So it's going to be sort of in this area, but you definitely want this section to be inked up pretty well. Okay, I'm going to do just a little bit more on the edges here. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to Knight of Navy. Ink up this section. And you kind of want to blend it in with the Lost Lagoon so there's no distinct line there. Okay, then I'm going to take my early espresso ink and this stamp from the Happy Scene stamp set, ink that up, and I'm going to stamp that right on the embossing folder. direction. I'm going to put one here as well. And then I'm going to try to follow that line where the where it's already stamped. And I think that's going to be about as wide as I need it. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my very vanilla cardstock that measures five by three and three quarter. And I'm going to put it towards the crease, but not all the way to the crease. Actually, not even all the way to the end of the tree trunks. Close that up. And then I'm going to put it in between my acrylic uh, cutting pads. I'm going to run that through the big shot. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to flip this over so I can see. Bring that up and voila. There is your image. Around. 
I'm noticing I did, didn't get a lot of ink picked up on the very edge here. If that happens to you, um, I'm trying to see where my, here it is, my sponge is. I'm just going to go ahead and do that a little bit by hand. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now to sort of bring out the trees a little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit of Dazzling Diamonds. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my fine tip glue, glue pen, fine tip glue pen. I'm just going to put, well, first I'm going to put it along the ground. And then just a little bit dotted here and there on the tree. I like this fine tip glue pen, but putting the cap back on can sometimes be challenging, I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> um, now I'm going to use my Dazzling Diamonds. I like to keep mine in a little container because it does tend to get everywhere. So I'm going to do it this way. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit right on the card, right over the trees, and brush that off. You can see the glitter. Now it's a little heavy at the moment, but I can brush that off with a little paintbrush. see that? Hopefully you can because it's really pretty. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, cover this back up. Actually, I'll put this top back on here. Otherwise, I really will have a mess the next time I go to use it. Okay, now I want to bring in a piece of the Lost Lagoon. This measures uh, four by five and a quarter. Anytime I have an embossed piece of cardstock, I kind of like to use my Tombow adhesive, multi-purpose adhesive, because of the texture of the paper. I just think this does a better job than the snail adhesive. And that on here. Okay. Bring in a piece of early espresso that measures eight and a half by five and a half. Crease that with my bone folder. don't need a lot of this glue if you use it because if you do use a lot it'll make your card real uh, stiff so just a little bit goes a long way all right and then I want to make my little sentiment and um, I'm using the Merry Christmas to you and yours 
um, sentiment that comes out of the six sayings. This is a hostess set, so you can get that by either hosting a party, online, book party, your own order. As long as it uh, adds up to $150, you can choose to get that six saying stamp set for free. And then I'm just going to ink this up with my early espresso. I'm going to put it to the left so that I have room to make a banner on the right. There we go. And I'm also going to sponge this, make it stand out a little bit more. Actually, let me cut the banner first. I always like to sponge. Sometimes I do it heavier than other times. And on this I'm going to do it pretty heavy. Because I really want it to enhance this, highlight this. Sometimes that little banner part can be a little tricky. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm going to add that using some dimensionals. that. I have the trees a little bit higher than I do on my sample. I'm not sure which ones I like the best, but it gives you an idea of how different they look every time you do them. Even the trees are a little different I'm noticing. I probably just used a different part of the embossing folder. So play around with it and just see what you like. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have I hope that you'll leave me a comment or a thumbs up letting me know. And thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel or stop into my uh, blog and join me for some more ideas and inspiration. Thanks again.